All right, welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we are going to talk about multi-factor authentication. Now you see, uh, uh, we have talked about authentication and made use of password as of now. But in this session, we are going to learn about what are the different methods we can use to authenticate the same user, okay? There's going to be a lab as well. Before we go ahead and make sure you subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet like it if you personally feel this this was helpful for you all right so let's get ahead now uh multi-factor authentication also uh, generally we we say it mfa is whenever we make use of more than one factor to authenticate a user that that's basically mfa right now uh, what we need to understand is that there is one of the uh, more popular way of authentication as well uh, you know we'll be talking about it uh, but usually in the organization we make use of two factor for authentication that means uh, making use of two factor uh, two factor for authenticating a user maybe it's a password and a token or password or something else so there there has to be two factor what are the two factors I have to say that a lot, but okay, I understand this way. So these are all the possible factors, right? Something you know, that means something that you already aware about. Maybe your password, secret pin, pin, you know, any any pin code, your secret pin code that you have personally, or you already aware about, you know. So that comes under just like your phone, your iPhone has got that, uh, you know, pin to open up your phone, right? So that's something you know already. Your, in order to open up your email, you got your password. That's the one factor authentication. Now, when you once you club it with any of the other factor, maybe something you have. So that's where you you have to have something, uh, you know, to authenticate a user. Something you have as in maybe a smart card, maybe RSA token or any hard token as well. Where you click the button, you get a temporary password you combine it with your initial password and you get authenticated right so that's a two level of authentication two factor of authentication that's why the most popular way of authentication is as i told you it's a two factor authentication 2fa now finally we have something you are now this is this is more about uh, you know your personal appearance your your biometric, your facial recognition, your retina, your thumbprint, all those stuff, right? So although in the enterprise, we, we don't use it much, ex except some of the, you know, critical organization, that's where we might use three factors as well. But most of the time you will find, uh, you know, two factor authentication, something you know as password, secret pin, and something you have, it could be RSA token, hard token, or soft token. All right. Let me show you uh, the the two-factor authentication very quick. How it has been configured. Most of you are would be already knowing about it for many of the applications. So you can see this is the GitHub account. This is my GitHub account. This is where when you click on the password and authentication, you come here and that's where you get an option to enable the two factor authentication. You first step is to, uh, you know, for this two factor authentication, uh, this is just an uh, information about it. You can either set it up with an app or make use of your text message as well. So text messages also fall under something you have. It's provide you a temporary password. Um, you know, it is good to have an app as well because that's where you can quickly go and you see your, your temporary password. You can make use of TOTP apps like one password. You can make use of Authy. You can make your Cisco Duo and many stuff as well. Microsoft Authenticator as well. Once you click next, you get a barcode. Now, I can show you because I already have one. So in this case, you get, if I open up the Cisco Duo, you get to see such kind of, you know, um, option where you need to specify which side it is. So you select what the site you want to go for. And uh, quickly, just after that, you just have to scan the QR code, okay? So once you scan the QR code, it will ask you for the account details and um, you know maybe you 
you enter the right credentials and um, it is asking you to enter the right six digit code so what you can do is once you scan the uh, qr code you will ask to share a six digit code which is i'll enter mine and quickly you get to see this recovery code okay uh, i have made it blur because this is this has to be made uh, very very secret okay so make sure you save it on a secret place or something where on a personal you know document or something because if you lose your app if you you know forget this or you know lo you lose the access to your app or something uh, this will be really helpful in case you you forget the code and everything right so you can download this file and you can save it to yourself right and then you can say i have saved the recovery code and boom that's how the two-factor authentication is activated on any platform this works exactly the same way you talk about any system right so i hope this was useful we'll catch you in the next video thank you bye bye